Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm going to close down a few things here and get myself up on Facebook. Oh, that doesn't look like the right screen. Hmm, cancel. Um, hmm, interesting. I don't know where I'm at. I'm in a chat someplace. That's not where I want to be. <laughs> I see Judy and Betty and Kathy coming in. Welcome, you guys. Okay, let's try this again. It's almost like it's my first day, right? <laughs> Some days are just so challenging. Today has been kind of one of those days. It's been a little crazy around here. Like, with me just trying to get stuff done. Because you guys know I'm going on vacation, right? Woohoo! I'm so excited. Like... Lots of clapping. <laughs> yeah, so how, how'd your weekend go, everybody? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? This is great. I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So if I get a phone call, it's going to pause. And don't worry, I'm going to like shut it off, shut the call down right away. And so just hang tight with me if that happens. Oh, hate it when that happens. Anyways, I see Terry and Cynthia coming in and Kathy. Welcome, you guys. My weekend was busy. I had little Miss Molly here all weekend, first of all. And that was really fun. She came and made some cards, and I did a little child labor with her. She did some um, die cutting for me and some punching for my all the chicks class. So that's cool, right? And we watched a movie together where I ate too much popcorn and had a popcorn coma. So I didn't see a lot of the movie, but I did get a nice little nap in Saturday. <laughs> we went to a family baby shower Saturday down by Milwaukee. That was really fun. It was good to see some um, family members that I haven't seen in a very long time. So that was nice. And then today I worked, 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 worked. Because I have to get all my eggs in a row before I leave for Florida on Tuesday. Yeah! I know, I'm so excited. This chick needs to be on a beach with a foofy drink someplace. And it needs to be warm and humid and sunny. That's all I ask for. <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, let's see, what's happening? Announcements. So first of all, I want to make sure that everybody knows... Celebration is over on the 28th. It is the very last day of celebration. We are going to have a celebration again in July and August, so don't worry. We're going to have a whole bunch more fun coming this summer. But um, previous years, we've always done celebration for three months, and this time it's different, and it's only going to be here for two months. And I see Debbie says, um, Virginia, snow and ice. It was snowing. It's still snowing pretty good outside. So... Um, my video from last week was breaking up pretty good when I was telling you guys about John, the John update. And maybe some of you caught it and some of you didn't, but if you didn't catch it, John took all the stickers off of his work truck van thing and we still don't know what's going on, but I've got good news. It's snowing out, which means John and Steve might get together in the driveway tomorrow and Steve will ask him. <laughs> I know, so we're gonna get the scoop. What happened? Did he get fired? Did he quit his job? Did he retire? Did his company get sold? Like, I don't know what's going on. So, inquiring minds need to know what's happening with John. <laughs> In case you missed that last week. So, celebration ends on the 28th, which is next, oh wait, I'm in the wrong month. It is next Sunday. So just know that um, you can order from the annual catalog, the spring JJ mini catalog. You can order any place. You can order online in the clearance rack. Everything that you order adds up to give you celebration rewards. You can get a level one at $50, a level two at $100. You can get three level ones for $150. The sky's the limit. There's no limit. There's no limit on celebration. The other thing I want to tell you guys about, oh, I have a flyer for this too. We have a brand new promotion that is starting on March 2nd, and it is the Butterfly Bouquet. So closer to that date, I will be sharing this flyer with you on my blog and probably on Facebook too, just so you know what's going on. 
but I thought I would show it to you early. This is the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. It's really cool because it's one big stamp. And when you, <clears throat> excuse me, stamp with that one big stamp, you get all these dies. Well, when you order them, you get all these dies. But this die is one great big giant die that cuts out all six of these butterflies all at once. Super cool, right? Who just said hi, Kelly, with a question mark? Um, hang on. Jody did. I bet you she didn't mean a question mark. Okay, because Jody knows who I am. She's on my team. <laughs> so, um, really, really cool dies in here. We've got beautiful butterfly stamps. These dies also come with it. And then we have the butterfly bijou. And isn't that a French word, I believe? Bijou. I feel kind of fancy saying it, but this is the paper that's also available. And from what, from what I understand, the paper is only going to be available until May 3rd. That's when this is over. But the stamp set and the dies, I believe, are going to be in the new catalog. So, um, Sue wants to know the status of the planner that I lost. Sue, I have no news for you. I did not find it. I have no idea what happened to it. And now, kind of the only thing that I can think is maybe I left it at the ski resort where we went skiing in Upper Michigan a couple weeks ago. And I've been so busy. The only time I can remember to call there is like midnight or one in the morning. And I don't want to do that to anybody, right? So ooh, I need to call and find out. <laughs> okay, we also have this natural touch specialty paper. This is a really pale, light wood grain. Very, very pretty. I think this is only available until the end of this promotion too on May 3rd. So... I need to read up on this promotion, but it seems to me that is the deal. And, and I'll let you guys know when I do post this on my blog. So, beautiful. Um, I am in a couple, like two or three swaps with this particular bundle. So I'm going to have lots and lots of goodies to share with you guys. I'm super excited about that. And I have made, um, I've designed three cards so far with this bundle. And can I just say, ooh la la, it is gorgeous. What else is happening? Little Miss Valerie. Oh my Lord, you guys, let me tell you about this. So you guys know she's been battling a um, ear infection, right? Hang on, I lost my paper here. She's been battling an ear infection and that poor little girl is such a trooper. So Haley has had her to the pediatrician four times and this last time they said she needs to go see a specialist. So that day, Haley took her in to see a specialist, and oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I was not there because I would have been in tears. Um, they had to, through two nurses and Haley had to hold her down while the specialist cleaned out her ear, and of course the baby jerked and he nicked her ear, so then it started bleeding. Haley said it was holy hell. She was screaming bloody murder, and... It was horrible, but all Haley kept telling herself was, this has to be done, this has to be done, it's gonna make it better, it's gonna make it better. And I'm like, oh, I would have been a mess, oh my gosh. But anyways, um, hopefully it will make it better. As of yesterday, she was very, yeah, yesterday was Saturday, I spent the whole day with her, she was very docile. Um, we had some smiles, but not my little Val. Like, she's full of energy and, and very busy, and she was just very docile and just kind of, you know, but, um, yeah, it was, I feel really bad for her, but hopefully it's under control or they're getting it under control. She's got to put drops in her ears now. And, you know, we were like, well, why didn't they catch this earlier? And because they said, the doctor said he's never seen an external ear infection in a baby so young. Like this doesn't happen to this young a baby, the, the babies that are as young as she is. So the pediatrician was not looking for that at all. So anyways, that's why we have specialists, right? Um, so anyhow, I'm hoping she gets that all fixed and I'm so sad. I know, right, Kate? Oh, yeah, bless her heart. And like I said, I'm so glad that I wasn't there. I thought, can you imagine the trauma? Like I tear up even talking about it, my poor baby. 
Anyhow, I think I'm going to swing by and see little Miss Val tomorrow. Or maybe I'll go pick her up from daycare because I get I can steal her like that. And um, <laughs> Pam is thinking about joining. Is that what's going on, Jody? I'm missing lots of comments here because it scrolls through so fast. Just so you guys know, when you leave comments, I love to read them. But a lot of times, if there's like four people doing a comment at once, it scrolls by so fast that I can't see it. So if you do have a question... Don't hesitate to ask it again until you get an answer because there's a lot of people on, right? So anyways, um, what else is happening? Uh, I have some really cool projects for you tonight. I was working on them most of the day and um, I think they're really fun and I think you're going to love them. I do not know if I will be live next Sunday. It's not looking good, folks. <laughs> Um, I know I won't be live, but I usually can do a live, not live, so I have something pre-recorded to share with you when I'm gone, and I am swamped. I have a kit, um, the All the Chicks kit that I need to get cut and packaged up and out the door, and that's very time-consuming. I also have paper pumpkin projects that I need to make and um, type up things because I'm in paper pumpkin groups. I need to get that done. I said that I was going to be done today so that I can pack tomorrow and spend some time with Val and do all that. Well, that's not looking that good either. <laughs> so I do not want to be going crazy all day tomorrow. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do a Facebook Live not live. But maybe I can get something together and we can do a little flashback. So, oh, Sharon Taylor is joining tomorrow. Yay, I'm so happy. You're going to love it. You will, I promise. You'll just love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you guys saw my video that I did last night, it isn't any stamping. It's just all about the starter kit and answering questions about buying that discount shopper kit. When I say starter kit, it's discount shopper kit. They're the, both the same thing. But it's about getting a discount and being part of my team, being part of something so much bigger is so much fun. I can't tell you guys how much fun it is. And it's really kind of a no-brainer. If you're going to put an order in around $100, you need to be joining my team with that $100 because you get $125 worth any product that you want. And all these goodies added to it that makes it worth $225 for $99 plus tax. Right? Jackie wants to know if it's too late to get the chick kit. It is not too late, Jackie, but I only have about four that are not spoken for once I get these cut up. So if you would like one... You head over to my blog and look for the online ordering button and get yourself one ordered right away, okay? I don't want you to miss out. All right. Um, prizes from last week. Yay! I love giving prizes away. So, first off, opal rounds. You guys, these are so pretty. They're like um, opalescent little glue dotty things. <laughs> And for commenting on my Facebook Live last week, we have a winner of Jean Shoot from Beulah, North Dakota. Yay, Jean! Congratulations! Now, make sure that you're leaving a comment. It doesn't matter what you say. You can say, hi, Kelly. You can say, hi, from Beulah, North Dakota. You can say whatever you want, but you definitely want to um, leave one comment, okay? Lisa just asked how Anna is. Thank you so much for asking that. So Anna had surgery last week. She finally saw the back specialist and he came in and scheduled her for surgery the next morning. So she had a herniated disc in her back and they went in and I believe trimmed it off again. I saw Anna today. Yesterday Steve took her an, um, an ice cream shake because she's having cravings for those. Um, and she is getting around better. She said it hurts pretty bad now. All the pain blockers and all the things wore off. But um, she's she's kind of leaning towards it's going to work. So thank you guys so much for your prayers and well wishes for Anna. She really appreciated it. And um, it looks like it worked. <laughs> so that's always a bonus. Okay, thanks for asking, Lisa. All right. Oh, Sharon says that my Q&A video really helped you decide to join. I had several people um, join last night. So um, you're not alone. And thank you for telling me that because sometimes, you know, you're not sure if it's the right thing to do or not. But I know that I was getting a lot of questions about the discount shopper kit. And I just wanted to make sure that there was no misconceptions out there. People think there's got to be strings attached because it's such a good deal. There's no strings. None. None at all. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, and Terry just signed up. Terry, you got in in the nick of time for the All the Chicks class. So I'm glad you got your order in there. Okay, next up, for sharing my video, you can click on that share button right now while you're watching me to share my video, and you just share it to your profile page. That really helps me grow my business, and I really appreciate it. For sharing last week, I've got the Velveteen, beautiful Velveteen paper. This paper is like velvet, and it comes in three different colors. I've cut it down to six by six so I can mail it. My winner is Lisa Meyer of Austin, Texas. Lisa is actually my half-sister. Yay, Lisa! I know she's going to be really excited about this. She watches me all the time. That will be coming your way. And then there's one other way to win, and that other way to win is to place an order. And for placing an order in the last week, our winner is going to get this Welcome Easter set. This is a set that I found when I moved. It's left over from last year's spring catalog. And I kept it to be able to give it away. Well, I kept it after I found it because it was kind of hidden in some of my stuff when I moved. But I wanted to give it away um, prior to Easter so people can really take advantage of it. But this is a super little cute set named Welcome Easter. The winner for placing an order in the last week is Judy Brown of Edgerton, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Judy. I'm so happy that you won. All of these prizes are going to be in the mail tomorrow. I have the postage printed out. I'm going to put them in the pile. Hang tight. Everything's ready to roll. Okay, so... Oh my good lord, last night Molly was in here stamping with me and this is the weirdest thing that happened. So she came over and opened up these drawers. There's, it's, This is a three drawer filing cabinet from Ikea by the way, which I love. But anyway, she opened this drawer and closed it and she opened that drawer and closed it. She was making some cards and she gets some cards stuck out. So we're sitting here and my floor must lean like this because when you open up one of these, it falls out like that, okay? It just keeps coming. So anyway, she didn't get either one of them closed. And we're sitting here doing stuff, and all of a sudden, this drawer comes out, the second drawer comes out, and the whole thing tips over, and all of that fell on the floor. <laughs> Steve didn't hear a thing. He was in bed sleeping down the hall. <laughs> but I thought, oh my lord, I'm lucky nobody got hurt. <laughs> it's dangerous in here. Yeah. So, all right. Um, do I have anything else? I've got a ton of mail. Well, not a ton, but I've got a lot of really fun mail to share with you, so I'm excited about that. Don't let me forget. Sometimes when I get to the end, I forget. I think we are going to start stamping. Let me get my goodies, because I've got them kind of all over here. I have to tell you guys, even though I have a new studio, it still isn't big enough. <laughs> I've got all this stuff sitting over here on the floor spread out. What I need is a great big, like countertop, a kitchen countertop where I can put all this stuff so I don't have it all over the floor, which seems so silly, right? Okay, I'm going to get out, start getting out all this stuff. I think what we're going to do first, you guys, is we're going to make the gift bag that I promised you. I'm planning on showing you how to make a really pretty gift bag, and um, then we're going to make some cards to match it, because why wouldn't you, right? That's really fun. And right now I'm trying to find my handles, which have disappeared. Huh. Isn't that interesting? I had them right in here. We are going to be using these pierced bloom dies. Holy cow! There are 25 dies in here, and they all have little pierce marks on them. They are so, so pretty. So Mary wants to know the name of my blog. Mary, you can type in www.astampabove.com. And as soon as I turn my phone around, you're going to see it on my desk. So, oh, here's my little strips. Don't worry. You'll, you'll be able to see it. Also, don't let me forget, you guys, I have a card challenge coming. Since I'm going to be gone, I don't want to leave you with nothing to do. So I made up a card challenge this afternoon, and I thought that would be super fun for you guys to do while I'm away. Okay, here we go. And one more thing. Hang on. Here it is. Here's my little cheat sheet. I am going to turn 
my camera around now. Are you guys ready for me? What's the name of your blog? Oh, Mary, I kind of stopped my comments there. Okay, where do I make a purchase? You want the butterflies. Okay, Dottie, the butterflies are not available to the public until March 2nd. However, if you would like to order that discount shopper kit from me and get $225 worth of product for $99 plus tax, you can get those butterflies. And if you do plan on doing that, email me and I'll send you this flyer, okay? All right, that's a great question because I had somebody do that last night. You can get, we get to pre-order stuff like a month in advance. When you buy that discount sh um, shopper kit, you also get to do that. You get all the benefits that I get. Um, who said kitchen cart on wheels? Oh, I know I've seen those. I think that would be really nice, but I just don't have enough room right here yet. I'm getting a new desk, so maybe, Deb, maybe that would be a good one. Okay. Hang tight. Hi, Sarah New. I'm happy to see you here. Um, I am going to flip my camera around. Stick with me. Hope we have good um, interception. interception. Um, is that with a word? No. I don't know. I hope we have a good connection tonight. Interception? What word am I looking for? Oh, good Lord. Who knows? Reception. That's it. I'm looking for reception. I hope we have good reception tonight because last night got a little dicey. It was kind of choppy. If you guys were watching the video last night and you missed some stuff, I did put it on YouTube and I did edit it. So if it was choppy enough that you couldn't understand what I was saying, I typed it in. Okay. So, and I cut some parts out too that were just me babbling <laughs> as usual. Okay. In bloom, you guys, this is a beautiful bundle in the Spring JJ Mini Catalog. Here it is right here. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set and these amazing dies. So you get 21 stamps in this one. Some beautiful fonts, four sentiments, all these flowers, centers of flowers, leaves, stems, the whole deal. And then you get all of these, which includes a bow and a little frame and lots and lots of flowers and leaves and a stem and all kinds of goody little things. So that's what we're going to be working with tonight. And the reason why I chose that is because that goes with our Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. This paper is free with your $50 order during celebration. Now remember that ends on 228. Oh, now we're choppy again, huh? Thanks for letting me know, Yvette. Um, this paper is free. With your $50 order, you can get as many as you want. If you put in a $100 order, you can get two. $150 is a three. Denise says maybe you need an interception. I would love an interception, Denise. <laughs> so this comes in 12 by 12, and I chose this pattern for my gift bag. And what we're going to do, this is a super easy gift bag. I'm going to show you where I got the idea after I show you the bag that I'm making. And you'll be able to see why I had to give one of these a try. So let me move this over here. We're going to bring in our paper trimmer because we're going to need some scoring. Yeah, Lisa says great stamp set and designer series paper. She has lots of flower sets, but she loves the stitching on the dies. And that's exactly what drew me to these dies too, Lisa, is they are so, so pretty. The little stitching dots, it's just, it just makes your, your um, die cuts look so charming. Let's see if I can get them put back together here. Okay, we have two pieces of designer series paper. These are both 12 by 12. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the... Um, now, wait, before I start, I want to tell you, this is a very random pattern. This is a very random pattern. <laughs> Cheryl says she has three packs of this. Cheryl, you're going to love this because this is going to stop the hoarding. Like, you're going to need a lot of this paper to do this, and this is good. Okay, so this is very random. This is very random. Now, you're going to need to pay attention to where you score if you have, like, flowers that need to be right side up, okay? Um, this paper is perfect for this particular project. So we're going to put our 12 by 12 in. On one side, we're going to score it at three. And remember, you guys, all these dimensions will be on my blog as soon as I get this uploaded, this video. We're done, and we upload it to YouTube. Oh, look, Anna's on here. 
Anna says, hi, mom, my favorite person in the whole world. Hi, Anna. Everybody was asking about you, and these are all the people that were praying for your recovery and giving you well wishes when you were in the hospital. So say thank you. No, I'm just kidding. She did. <laughs> all right, we're going to score at three. Remember, don't score too hard when you're using designer series paper. You do not want to rip it. We're going to score at three and ten. These are going to be our sides. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I lied. Three and ten. Um, that's not right. Hang on a second. Let me think about this. Oh, no. Mm. Nope, I did something wrong. Hang on. I got to get my measuring out. I don't want to lie to you guys. Three and nine. That's what it should be. It should be three and nine. Okay, let me change my little notes here. I wrote this down wrong. Three and nine. Okay, so now we're gonna score at nine. We already scored at three, we're gonna score at nine. Then we're gonna turn it like this and we're gonna score at, let me measure again because I don't wanna mess this up. This is a lot of paper. Where's my, oh, here's my ruler. Then we're going to score at three and eight. See, that's why I thought I was doing something wrong. I had it written down wrong, guys. Three and eight on this side. Three and nine on the other side. So here goes three and... Is that looking right? You wouldn't know, but I would. Yep, three and nine. Okay. Whew. Wait a minute. 12, 11, 10, 9. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we have another whole piece to go where I will show you without interruption. Okay, so we have all of these. Oh, that's not right. Oh my good lord, you guys. 3 and 9, and then 2 and 9. Oh, that's what I have written here. Okay, so we're going to score at 2 and 9 on this side, 3 and 9 on the other side. So sorry. Oh my gosh, you guys must be going like, oh my lord, what is she talking about? Okay, so we've got a 2-inch score here, and then we've got a 9-inch score there, and then we scored at 3 and 9 here, so we're going to just fold this over on this score line. I'm going to do another one for you so you can be less confused. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so all I did was score or fold on all these lines. Let's try this one. Three and nine. This is going to be our sides. So here's three. Here's nine. When you flip it the other way and do two and nine, this is going to be the top of our bag, this two inch. And then nine. Did you guys get that now? <laughs> I hope you're not so confused anymore. Yvette says she was thinking she's not the only one who struggles with this at times. I know, and I had it written down, and then I wrote it wrong, and oh my lord, no. Okay, so this is our two inch. Our two inch is the other lines are going to get folded this way. This is like the easiest bag to make, and I hope half of you didn't like turn me off and go, oh my lord, I'm never doing that, uh, because it is super, super simple. I'm going to grab my scissors, and now these two score lines on the bottom, I'm just going to cut on that score line until I get up to the fold, just like that. And here comes the next one. Make sure I got this in the frame of the camera so you can see what's going on here. I'm just cutting on that score line, okay? This is going to make a box or a bag, depending on what you need. Do you see what I've done there? Isn't that super easy? Regardless of how long it took me to score properly. Okay, here comes the other one. Again, the two inches up here, and I folded it back. Let me, let me fold these under good so I can see them a little bit better. Now we're going to cut 
on this score line up to that score line. Same thing we did on the other one. Basically what you're doing is you're gonna put these two together to form a box. If you wanna put a handle on it, we're gonna call it a bag but you can really have it be anything you want. This would make a really nice little um, popcorn box too if you were having like a movie party and you wanted to make a bunch of matching things for like maybe a girl's or a boy's birthday party. That would be kind of cool too. I'm gonna do my burnishing here. I was really quite shocked at how easy this was to make earlier today, regardless of how hard I'm making it for you right now. <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. And again, this, we're gonna fold these tabs in and here is half of a box. And then we have the other half here. So let me get these edges all burnished so they're nice and um, crisp. I like to do my burnishing. My English friends from the UK taught me that term. I didn't. I, Never knew there was a word for this using the bone folder, but there is. Okay, so now what I probably recommend you guys is to use tear and tape. That's going to be the strongest adhesive. Um, I still have a bag that is sticking together from glue earlier today. So that's what I'm using because it's going to be um, a little easier for me. <laughs> Donna says, Kelly, you didn't have a hot flash. Not yet, Donna. Just wait. There's time. <laughs> so much oh my gosh I love it okay so Janet says she found this pattern last year and she loves making bags with it it is really fun right so this isn't the first time I've made this bag but um, I want to show you the one that I got as a gift a couple weeks ago because I think you're gonna find a little new use for this bag that's really cool too okay so I put glue there and now I'm just gonna square this up I want to make sure my, my edges are nice and square here. Just like that. There's several different ways you could, you know, put the other piece in here and do it then or whatever you whatever works for you. Now I'm gonna take all of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some glue on here. These are my tabs, right? You could use tear and tape, like I said, but good luck with that. <laughs> It's nice, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it can be rather challenging, right? Now, I'm going to set this right in here, inside, and now I'm going to go in here and push these tabs down because I know that this is going to be squared up. You could do this any way you wanted. You could have pushed them together, had it to whatever, but just whatever makes it easy for you. Now, when I do this, I'm going to tuck this one under here. And I'm going to tuck this one under here. And let me look at this again. Oh yeah, that's right. Tucky, tucky. There we go. Look at how cute this is. And now you're gonna glue it together. Is that not just the cutest little thing ever? You guys saw how easy it was, regardless of how much trouble I had of scoring it. Now I see that I didn't score straight here, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pull this apart a little bit and I'm gonna cut off some of this one since this one's gonna be the one that gets tucked under. So you see what I did there? I just cut it at a slant so that I won't see how crooked I scored it and now it's gone. Always a way to fix things, I love that. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Get our little tucky thing going on here. And you can see that that's sticking out a little bit too. I didn't I didn't score it as poorly as I did the other one, but it's still not perfect. <laughs> so we're just gonna cut a little sliver off this one. And now we're gonna bring this back in here and tuck these right down in here. Whoops. Just like that. Yay and yay. Oh my gosh, right? This is the cutest little thing ever. So now what I'm gonna do to glue it together, I'm gonna just open this up a little bit. And here's where the tear and tape might work really nice, is if you could have the tear and tape in here ahead of time, you could just reach in with your take your pick tool and pull that backing off and just pull it out and stick it down. I don't know. But the glue seems to work just fine with mine. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing, maybe, over here. I'm just gonna add some glue. 
just like that. Yep. There we go. Get it squared up. Hang on. That didn't work. There we go. Okay. Phew. And now I'm going to take some glue and put it right here to glue that down. These won't come apart now. They're stuck together, both, both sides. And this one, just like that. <gasps> oh, so pretty, right? I love it. Okay, it's the little things in life that make me happy. Let's be real. Okay, next up is, where did those strips go? So I've got a petal pink strip, an old olive strip, and a knight of navy strip. And I wasn't really sure which one I wanted to go with here. Do I want to go with the knight of navy? Um, I don't know. Do I want to? What do you guys prefer? Do you want to do the old olive? Or we could pull the petal pink out of here and go with this one. What do you prefer? What do you think would be the best color? I'm going to wait for some of you guys to do that. Now, in the meantime, while I'm waiting on you, what are you guys drinking? I have my strawberry lemonade. Ooh, I've got a Knight of Navy. I've got a pink. What else we got, you guys? And an old olive. I got one of each. <gasps> Betty Myers says, so easy and pretty. I know, Betty. Here's another old olive. Okay, so we've got two old olives. I'll give a couple more. Knight of Navy, two Knight of Navies, two old olives, and three Knight of Navies. Knight of Navy it is. Okay, so what I did then, you guys, this is one by 11. It's just a piece of cardstock. I took these dies and I just pulled them all out and look at this. I just laid them on some Rococo Rose. This is the coordinating colors that go with the Paper Blooms free designer series paper. So that's where I pulled my colors from. I did Rococo Rose, I did Soft Sea Foam, I did Seaside Spray, I also did some white and some petal pink. So I just, and I put these all through my, um, my big boss at the same time, my die cutting machine. And then I have all of these. So I tried to keep these all separated by color. And then my mail fell off the top of the box that Terry Mullinex sent me and it sent these things sailing. Not your fault, Terry, totally my fault, but <laughs> I kind of made a mess out of things. So here's all my little bits and pieces and I just kind of wanted to keep them, you know, I cut out all kinds of different parts and pieces here. And when I have a big die set like this, that's kind of all the same theme, flowers, leaves, stems, I like to do this so that I can just start mixing and matching and creating. And then with anything that's left over from this, I will put it in the back of my dies to use when I make another card with them. So it's kind of a fun way to sit down to create, and I really enjoy doing it this way. And that way I don't have to be futzing around, going like, oh, I need this color, and now I have to go die cut it, and then I need that color. I picked out my designer paper first, and then I took the dies and die cut them on each of the colors that coordinate with this. And now I can sit down with this whole pile and start making some pretty things. Good idea? I think it is. Okay, what do you guys have for supper tonight? I actually had some peanut butter and strawberry jam toast because I was lazy and I was hungry and I was running out of time. <laughs> Steve did not cook today, but there is venison in the fridge. I just was lazy and I didn't feel like doing that. I just made toast. I had one piece of toast and now I'm full and life is good. I went to take a nap today and I go up to my bedroom and Steve has piles of clothes all over it because he's already started packing for our trip, which makes me laugh because I'll probably be doing that tomorrow night at about one in the morning. <laughs> and we leave Tuesday morning, because that's kind of how I roll. Okay, you guys, here's all our bits and pieces, and look at these, even these little bows are so adorable. All these dies come in this set, all of them. So, 
And um, I had another little note here someplace with some information on it that I was going to share with you. Oh, I know. Um, you'll find this, like I said, on page, what did I say? Page 45 in the catalog. The die set and the stamps are $48.50. So you add some rhinestones or a bottle of glue, you get over $50. You can get the designer paper for free. So just kind of an idea on, you know, it's like, oh, what would I order if I wanted to get this paper for free? You could order the In Bloom bundle and get that for free. Okay. The reason why I'm getting all these out right now is because I am going to put this handle on here. And you know what, I just had like this little idea. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not a good idea, but I'm going to give her a try because I can be kind of a daredevil sometimes. I'm going to take my Knight of Navy ink and I'm going to take this kind of a um, smaller little flower stamp. Oh, you know what? I think I like this one. This one's just a teeny weeny little bit smaller than that one. So I'm going to grab this one. This just is an idea that popped into my head. And it could be a complete disaster. <laughs> one never knows. But I'm going to take this little thing and I'm going to stamp some Night of Navy flowers on it. Because why wouldn't I? This is just going to add to the charm. Um, I'm thinking it's going to look pretty decent. Otherwise, it's going to be really ugly and we're going to hate it. And we'll just turn it over and use the back. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's going to make me happy. Let me get this out of my way. I had blue ink all over my fingers earlier today, so I want to be careful about that. And now I'm going to take this. And what I would do here, you guys, is I would put it about an inch down. Okay, about an inch. And then I'm going to just staple it. I want to get it straight. Whoops. Hang on, I keep moving it. I'm going to staple it just like that. Kind of ugly, right? Don't worry. You know I'm not into ugly. <gasps> Cabbage, kielbasa, potatoes, onion, carrots, and tomatoes. Wow, Cynthia, that sounds delightful. Hmm, I like ye. Yeah, Steve wasn't cooking that much this weekend. He did make me a grilled cheese sandwich earlier today. Okay, so now I don't want to see this, right? I mean, obviously, it's kind of ugly. So I'm going to grab, I think this flower is a good size. And, oops, I just flipped some of these little pieces all over the place. Do I have another one this color? Oh, maybe these. The, oh, I've got enough of these to do that. I think I am going to use these to cover right? To cover up that ugly little staple. So I'm going to put a pretty good size glob of glue on there. I like my terms. It's real life stamping with Kelly. <gasps> Cheryl's making lasagna. Joanne would use a bread. That's a great idea, Joanne. That'll work too. Really good. Lisa, I see you're on. Did you see you won something tonight? Yay, Lisa. Okay, Lisa Meyer. All right. There we go. Look at, look at how cute that is, right? Or you can leave it be a box and not put a handle on it. It's completely up to you. But the other thing that I wanted to do is, oh, here it is. I am going to bring this in. I have tissue paper. And you guys, if you have never made matching tissue paper to go with your gifts, you're missing out on a whole lot of fun. So let's do a little bit of this. I'm going to take, that's that blue flower. Here's a bigger flower. I'm using a lighter color now. I've got Seaside Spray. So I'm going to stamp some flowers on my tissue paper. very randomly. <laughs> kind of making a mess here, you guys. Hang on. This is a little tricky to keep it in my film window. Um, there we go. And da -da -da. Okay, there's one. Now I've got another flower here. Let's grab... How about some of this soft sea foam? 
and we'll stamp some of these little flowers around because this is going to make this look and you could decorate this up just as much as you want to you guys but I think this is like the cutest little idea ever to really make everything coordinate and be so pretty because we're going to make a card that's going to match all this too. Whoops, I just laid that right on my hand. And that's why they make baby wipes, not only for baby heinies, but for messy stampers. <laughs> okay, now. I would do this whole piece, you guys know that, right? But this is what I do with my tissue paper. I kind of grab it in the middle here, and I do all of this, and then I take it, and I put my present in there, and I smush this down in there. And look at how cute the tissue paper looks. Let me get, let me get it down in here a little bit further. Look at how cute that tissue paper looks all stamped up to match my container, right? Super, super cute. Yay! Oh, and Deb says she made some amazing tissue paper back when we had Stampin' Wheels. Yeah, that's what I'm working with. So here's that little gift bag or box, whatever you'd like it to be. Now, we're going to move on. We're going to make up some fun. On it you know everybody has their thing right but um, this is a great layout to use for basic we are going to take a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock this is five and a half by eight and a half I'm gonna fold it in half and this is where the card challenge is gonna come in so Pay good attention. <laughs> Not that you guys don't anyways. Now what I've got here is three and a half by six. And this is also the same designer's paper. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it to the front of my card at an angle like this. So that's why it's extra long. So I'm going to put some glue down the middle, not so much on the outside edges here, and I'm going to angle it just like this. Crazy, right? Now, whatever you want to do, you could put this in your paper cutter now, and you could cut the edges off, or you could just use your scissors, and that's what I'm going to do, is use my card for a guide to cut the edge off. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Like I said, I'm going to have a card challenge using this layout. So I'm going to show you some, some ideas that I did. And there we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. Then what I thought would be really cool is to take one of these labels, and I have one cut out in each color. I think I'm going to go with the um, soft sea foam. And I'm going to stamp a sentiment on here. So I've got the You Are Amazing from the In Bloom stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that. Whoops, that doesn't look like I got that Y inked up very good. I'm going to stamp that right here. Oh, that turned out great. And now we're going to spend the rest of our time with this card. <laughs> it's like an old friend we're visiting. We're going to spend the rest of our time with this card doing all the cool things on the front. So I've got some dimensionals on here. I'm going to bring this right down in here and now we're going to get to start playing. And I think I want maybe a Rococo rose. We're going to build some flowers. Um, how about one of these soft or um, seaside spray and then we've got these little funky circle elements that are really fun. I think that'll be a good stack on there. So I'm going to grab, I've got regular dimensionals, mini dimensionals, and black and white. So I'm going to take 
a white dimensional and add it. Can you guys, am I in the screen? I hope I'm not getting out of the screen. Add this right here. <gasps> Diana says she has a bridal shower next week. Diana, that bag is going to be absolutely perfect. You know, when you go to a bridal shower, um, oh, I was going to, I was thinking baby shower, not bridal shower, but bridal shower too. But when you go to a baby shower, you can take a little book and put it in that little gift bag with a gift card to Amazon or Target or whatever. That makes a really nice gift. Um, Stephanie was in charge of getting all the gifts for the um, shower that I just went to yesterday. And we each got a book instead of getting, instead of buying a card, which of course you guys know I would never buy a card, right? But instead of buying a card, they asked if we brought a baby book. So we brought books. That was really fun. And I gave her an Amazon gift card and then contributed to the presents that Stephanie picked out for her, which was all on her wish list. And it was all stuff to do with a swimming pool, which she picked on Amazon. And we have a swimming pool, so that's near and dear to our heart. And that's what we contributed was lots of baby swimming pool stuff. It was really fun. Okay, now, I know it's really kind of weird to have blue leaves, but this paper has blue leaves in it. So I think it's kind of fun and we're gonna stick with that. Now I am just going to put some blue down here and I thought this was a good place to put these blue leaves because they're really gonna pop over here versus someplace else where maybe it's a little busier on the paper. The only thing you wanna make sure is that you're keeping them inside the edge of your card so you can get it in an envelope. And then Every card with flowers needs a little bling, right? I'm going to take a little bit of bling and put it right there in the center of my little flower. And then I'm just going to add a couple more rhinestones on my card. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Okay, now I've got an inside here. So I've got You Are Amazing on the front. And I'm thinking we can do... Happy birthday. You really are the best. So I'm going to stamp that right here in Night of Mary. And then I'm going to bring in the flower stamps right here. I'm going to bring in some of that soft sea foam and I'm going to stamp that right over here. And I kind of got it on the words a little bit and I actually meant to do that. And then I think I'll go with the blue. And look at how cute that is. So this is going to be our inside layer. Again, this is basic white, four by five and a quarter. Get these ink pads out of my way and we'll put this right in here. Now this is a really quick and easy card, right? This is going to be our layout challenge while I'm away, but I've got another one to share with you. So I'm going to wait and see. I know I froze up and I found out what is causing the freezing up on my phone and it is heating. So I just took the cover off and I am waiting to see if you guys can hear me. I know there's a little delay in this, so let me know if you can hear me. After I'm coming back from where the screen froze up. Like, what a pain in the butt ski. I might have to get a new phone, you guys. Oh, Debbie says I'm back. Okay. So, I had to take my phone out of the case that it's in because it was overheating. Is that not insane? It said, emergency, your phone is overheating. And every time it would do that the last couple of weeks, I thought... There was an emergency where they do one of those amber alerts, but I don't think that's what's been going on, you guys. I think it was just my phone is overheating, so my battery may be going bad. Anywho, okay, here's the card we just made, and here's a matching envelope, and isn't that just the sweetest little thing, right? Don't forget to do your envelopes. Now we're going to do a card with just a little bit more. This is going to be quick and easy. This is, again, my Knight of Navy card base, eight and a half by five and a half. And then here is the pattern of the, the um, designer paper I'm going to use. And again, I'm going, whoops. Oh, I forgot. I want to do something first. Hang on. I'm just going to wipe this off with a baby wipe. Isn't that funny that I can do that? But I can. 
I am going to clean off my stamps so I don't mess my ink pads up. Yeah, I hope that fixes the problem I've been having with my phone, you guys. I just happened to stand up when I saw that it was frozen on my iPad right here and look at it. And it's like, oh my Lord, what's happening? And it said my phone was overheating, whereas before it would never tell me what was wrong with it. Okay, so now I'm going to take oops, Night of Navy ink. And I am going to stamp some of these flowers around on here. And I just thought that having a little something on the background of this layer was kind of a neat idea, right? So just very randomly, I'm stamping some flowers. And I'm gonna clean my stamp off again. Hang on, cause I got, <laughs> look at how dirty I am. I got blue ink everywhere. Oh, the hazards, right? Okay, I'm gonna get my fingers all wiped off. We'll set this over here. Now I'm gonna put my glue on and we're gonna do the same layout with a little different paper. So can you guys see the difference between this one and the other one? Where I didn't have anything on the background? Do you like something on the background or do you prefer it plain? I guess it's up to each person. And Donna's asking what the challenge is. Donna, it's gonna be a layout challenge and we're going to be using this layout. And I will show you as soon as I get done making these cards, the sample challenge card. But again, it's gonna be this layout. I just have a sample made up. And I'll show you that in just a second. I just sliced my card, so let me take that right to the end. And um, it's going to post at 8.30 on Facebook. It'll also be on my blog with all of these cards and dimensions and the gift bag and the whole thing. So you'll be able to see it in a couple different places with all the details. So just hang tight on that. Okay, so we've got this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my label, and I think I'm going to go with the white one here. And um, I'm gonna do the congrats, you're so fancy now, because I just think that's hysterical for a saying. And of course, you could use any one of the sayings you want. You can make all of these birthday cards. You could make them thank you cards. Oh, I just love, love, love that font. I just love it. And then I'm going to, hang on, I got cords everywhere and ink pads getting in cords and all kinds of messes. I'm going to put this up on dimensionals again. And we're going to do this one just a tiny bit different. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up just a little bit higher. I love these little labels and they come in here, so that's cool. Now I'm going to take one of these fancy little bows, this is Seaside Spray, and I'm going to add just a touch of glue to this little top of the bow because I want it to go right here on my label. So that's why I only put glue behind the top part. And now it kind of sticks up with the dimensionals, so that's cool. Judy loves the tone on tone stamped background. I think I really like it too. It adds a lot, right? Denise just said it really adds a lot. Faileen likes the stamped background too. She says it adds a touch of dimension. So I agree with you. Okay, so now we have this going on. You could leave the card just like this if you wanted to, right? We're, we're already looking fantastic. But what I thought is I'd start stacking a few flowers in here. So I like this one, and I'm going to just add a dimensional. And instead of putting them over here, this time I'm going to come in and put them right up here. So I got that one. Let's see. We're going to pull from our Rococo Rose. Oh, I think this one will look really good. And I jammed something underneath my fingernail, and it really hurts. <laughs> So, I'm like, like, oh, that's hurting. That's a little bugger right now. Okay, is it still snowing out? I can't tell out my window. 
So I'm going to put that little flower in the middle. That's for Coco Rose. And then I think one of these little cutie patooties. I don't want that one. Hang on. I want a tiny little peachy one. How about this one right here? We'll do that little tiny one in the whoops, center. So this is where a stamp set and a die set like this is really fun because you get to come in and experiment and play around with colors and different layers. Look at how cute that is, right? All kinds of different layers. Okay, so now I want some leaves and I think I'm going to use this double leaf in the sea, the soft sea foam. And I want to kind of tuck that right under here. So I think what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to put a dimensional, a little mini dimensional under this leaf right there. And then, because I just did a dry fit to see what I need to do and where, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there. And then I'm just going to tuck this. Oops, now you have to make sure that you're not going off the edge of your card because otherwise it won't fit in an envelope, right? Oh, that turned out really good right in there like that, right? Okay, and then last but not least, of course, ugh, we need a little bling. And got some rhinestones here. I think I will put one right in the center of my flower. And then maybe another one right in the center of my bow. That's a cute idea. And then how about one right there? Look at how cute that is. Okay, we also have a white layer. And I've got, congrats, you are, you're so fancy now. And then I think I'm going to put, you are amazing on the inside again. I'm going to use that one again. I used it on the front of another card. I love the fonts on these. They're really, really pretty. And then here's my soft sea foam. Or I mean my seaside spray. Let's see, is this clean? Yes. I'm going to take this big one. Since this is such a light color, I can stamp that right over my sentiment. And I like to do stuff like that when you can, because I just think it's really cool looking. Oh, Cynthia is asking, where do you send the card? So we're going to talk about the challenge in just a minute. So you're not sending it any place. It's just virtual. You're going to take a picture of it, and you're going to load it up on my Facebook page, right where you're watching me now. It's going to be much easier than mailing and we'll talk a little bit about how it goes. Deb, catch the replay later. The Walking Dead is starting. I just got beat out by The Walking Dead and I was pretty impressed with myself because I went up against the Super Bowl and I still had a rocking audience, but apparently The Walking Dead is going to take me out. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. That was kind of funny. Okay, I got all my stamps washed now. So here's my first one. I used a little different color of paper and didn't do kind of as many things here. This one I stamped the background of it. That turned out pretty darn nice, right? Now I've got one more. Oh, I've got an envelope. Here's envelope flap. So we've got two envelopes here to go with our pretty little cards. I've got one more here that I wanted to share with you. This is going to be quick and easy also. And this one uses Seaside Spray is our um, uh, card base. And then I think we're going to do a little bit of that stamping in the background. And this time I'm going to use this teeny weeny little flower. And I'm just going to do tone on tone. Seaside Spray, Seaside Spray. Stamp randomly all over in the places where... You're going to not cover it up with designer series paper. Let's see if that's good enough. Now I'm going to be using this layer. Oh yeah, look at those little flowers on there. That looks really nice. And here comes our glue. Put this right on here like 
And when you guys do this angle, this is three and a half by six, but when you do this angle, I'm about, I don't know, half an inch and a half an inch. And the top, half an inch, half an inch. And yours can be more angled, less angled, doesn't matter when you do your challenge. <laughs> Melanie says, I can, I can see I watched Kelly while the Super Bowl played. She had my attention. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny because Steve came in that night before I went on and he said, you know, you're up against the Super Bowl tonight. And I go, yep, yep, I am not afraid. <laughs> and I'm glad I was because there was a whole bunch of people not watching that Super Bowl, that's for sure. Oh, is Molly on? Molly, I miss you already. I had to take Molly home today. She's got school tomorrow, you know. I know, I wish we could stick her in our suitcase and take her to Florida with us, but we can't. Okay, so here's this. I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is the inside right away. And I have a lot of team members. Did I do a happy birthday yet? I think I did, didn't I? Let's see. Yep, I did. I have a lot of team members, and I like to send them cards. Um, I do recognition every month for my team where... I recognize them based on certain things that they've done throughout the month. So I always need a lot of cards. But any of these sentiments can be switched out for birthday or um, get well or anything that you need. But this is what I'm going to do with mine. And then we've got the little, where's that little, do I have that little pokey dotted one? Oh, I thought I had that one out. I do not. I think I'm going to grab the little pokey dotted one. Uh, here it is. There's a whole bunch of cute little stamps in here, so don't don't forget about that. We got all kinds of different little things going on. Put that one off. Put this one on. I want that little polka dotted one, and I'll show you what it does. Look at that. Ah, so cute, right? Okay, so this is going to be the inside of our card. I know I get easily distracted with all the pretty. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I was going to make this one a sideways card, but I already blew it, so I should say a tall card. Okay, now I'm going to bring this in, and I'm thinking I'm going to like that. I think that's going to look good. I've got um, You Are Amazing, and now I'm going to grab the Congrats, You're So Fancy Now, because I think this is going to be great for my team cards. Congrats, You're So Fancy Now. If they promote, they're going to get a Congrats, You're So Fancy Now. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. What I was going to do, you guys, before I messed this up and put it in sideways, is this particular layout could go this way, too, because that would look cool. But I'm going to have to do mine this way. So just keep that in mind if you're going to join the challenge. We'll talk about that in a minute. So you get all the deets. And here we go. So I'm going to bring this right here. And then I think what'll look really good with this is a white bow, right? That'll look cool. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? I don't know if I can fit this in here yet. I was gonna put some white in there. Okay, so this is just another way to make it fancy. So hang on. I just, I should have put this on the back of this layer and I forgot. Because I get distracted by all the pretty things. See that? And then we're gonna trim it. What do you think of that white under there? That's another, just another little step up, right? I think I can get it under here yet, too. Because I don't put my glue all the way up to the edges. I can, yay me! <laughs> Who knew? These are just half inch little strips. And you can just use coordinating colors. In this case, I am using white. Oh, and this one's getting stuck right there. I gotta peel that up a little bit. Hang on. There we go. I want these to be even. That looks good. Okay. There we go. Yep, that looks really good. So hang on, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so what do you guys think with that layer here and here? I think that's a really good look. And just a little something, something extra you can do to add some more color to your card. 
Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing right here and put this little white paper bow in here. There we go. All right, now, huh. I cut out, oops, don't get my cards in the ink. I cut out some white flowers because I thought they would really, really pop on here, right? And I think this one is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna put that right up here. And then how about, let's find a little something maybe-ish. Is that a good, well, that looks like a good idea. Put that right there. Aren't these fun? Just putting all these together is so fun. Now, I've got, I don't know, is that like just totally getting lost in there? I, I feel like the navy leaf is not even something that you're gonna see. I'll put this one up here because it goes beyond the top of that floral area and I think then you'll be able to kind of see it a little bit. How about that? Good, you guys? Okay. I know the little bow. Super cute. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put a little rhinestone right there. And then I'm gonna do a little bit bigger one in the center. Whoops, I didn't put enough glue on there. Uh, er. There we go. Oh, my take your tool. My take your pick tool putty is working good. Okay, there we go. And then I always like to do embellishments of three. That's kind of my deal. So, how about just another one right down there? Look at how pretty that is. Oh, here was my strips of white that I forgot to use. Okay, then again, I've got a two and a half by six inch piece of the matching designer series paper. So I can have a pretty, pretty envelope. I just love that. Look how crooked that is. Oh, good Lord, Kelly. Let's try again. Hang on. Ah. I'll get some more glue on here. Let's see if we can line it up with the top edge like an adult. <laughs> no, we can't. I got glue on it now. It's just going to give me fits. Hang on. I am relentless. <laughs> I do not give up easily. Okay. Ooh, silver would look pretty too. Thanks, Margaret. That's a really good idea. I like that idea a lot. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. And this is Kelly's the best at bows. I do like bows. I'm pretty good at them. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Here's our card. What do you guys think of that one? Isn't it super quick and easy? These are really fun. It's a lot of fun to play with all of these little dies. Like, I'm gonna throw all of these in an envelope. Look at my whole pile of more cards that I get to make. Like, I've got a ton of stuff here. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Let me close my ink up. And, Anna, you're hijacking my show. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to bring back our cute little bag, right? Here's our cute little bag. Here's the first card that we made. Here comes the second card where we stamp the background and use the bow. Here's the third card where we just use different paper, different colors. We've got all the good things happening here. Now, fun stuff, right? Don't forget to stamp your tissue paper. I just think that is just so cute. Here comes our card challenge, you guys. 
The blue one is Nancy's favorite. Yeah, I love I love it. I love all of these, but I I kind of like the blue one as my favorite too. This is our card challenge. You're gonna find a photograph of this on my Facebook page at 8:30. Okay, so in 15 more minutes, it's gonna post all by itself, just like magic. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. I set it up, but um, you're gonna see this, and what you're gonna do is you're going to create a card, however you may like to do that. Um, it has to be at least 50% Stampin' Up. So use Stampin' Up designer paper. Current, retired, doesn't matter. Please try to use Stampin' Up dies and um, stamp sets. That's perfect. But you're going to do a layout just like this. Now don't forget, you could actually take this layout and put it like this and put a little sentiment over here. You can use a die. You can use a punch. This is three and a half inches by, I cut mine at six and then you saw trimmed it off. But however you interpret this layout, you're going to make a card using this layout. And then you're going to go on your phone and you're going to take a picture of your card. You're going to go to my Facebook page. And remember, it's at a stamp above dash your creative coach. That is my Facebook page. You're going to scroll down until you see a picture of this that says card challenge. Just like you would leave a comment under it saying, oh, Kelly, that's so pretty. You are going to click in the comment area and you're going to see where you can add a picture or take a picture. Right in that little comment area, you're going to see a little camera or little photographs. Whatever you need to do. Click on the photograph, grab the picture off your camera or your phone, and then you hit the enter key or the little blue arrow or whatever you have to do when you post a comment to make it stick there and happen. That's it. It's that simple to do. Now, if you're watching later on YouTube, I will be uploading this video to YouTube. I am going to have a link to my Facebook page where you're going to find this particular graphic and you can also participate. It's super easy. Okay. Whew. Remember, you guys, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. If your order is under $150, you're going to use this code. Sue wants to know, can you add flowers embellishments? You can do anything you want, Sue. Anything you want. Just so you use the layout. I want to see all the different ideas with this layout, and that's the challenge. You can use embellishments. You can use punches. You can use dies. You can use embossing folders. You can use um, embossing. You can use whatever you want. You can do a technique. The challenge deadline is the 28th, which is next Sunday. So you're gonna post your projects. They must be under this graphic. You can't just go to my Facebook page and post them any place. I am not going to dig all over the place to find all of these. I want them in one place. So you're gonna post your card. And for each card that you make with the layout, you're going to get an entry into a drawing. And I have no idea what I'm giving away yet, but I can tell you it's going to be a wonderful Stampin' Up! product. Because I love to give away fabulous prizes. <laughs> so Anna says she wants to make one. Hook me up with the goods. I'm on it, Anna. <laughs> so this is your layout. And as you can see, here's some different ideas. Well, kind of all the same idea, just little different elements to them using the layout. Now, who is ready? Oh, and if you make a card and a matching gift bag or box, I would love to see that too. Okay, show me what you're making. I love to see what you're making. Now, I've got some really pretty mail to share with you. Before I do that, remember, this is my blog. When I get done tonight, I download this video and I upload it to YouTube. And um, you will find all the dimensions, all the scoring instructions, and a replay of this video on my blog right here. Just scroll down the page until you see these projects. That's where it's all going to be. I also have the spring um, virtual retreat. Don't forget about that. You get $100 in product in a swag box, and the cost is $129. Lots of fabulous prizes. We're going to play bingo, um, be part of the spring virtual retreat. It is completely virtual. It's going to be held on the 27th of March, which is a Saturday. We're actually going to start it Friday night, I think, with the bingo. Dina, Barb, and I were getting together to figure out exactly how we're going to, um, what our schedule is going to be for the spring virtual retreat. So, 
Okay, mail. Yes, thank you for reminding me about the mail. I am going to bring my mail in right now. Oh my good lord. It's not that big. But my finger hurts. I jammed something under there and it's really hurting. Okay, first up. This is super duper pretty. Let me get this little note out of here. Look at how pretty that is. This came to me from Regina Smith, and she's thanking me for the Field and Flower Designer Series paper. But when I opened your card, I cut the ribbon. Great, Kelly. Isn't that wonderful? But isn't this a cool layout? I love, let me, there we go. I'll move it out of the way. I love this layout with the little tag punch over here. I thought you did a fabulous job, Regina. Thank you so much. Next up, is, oh my mom. I have to show you what my mom made. My mom is not a stamper, she's a painter. Look at this beautiful photograph she took. This is ice on the pine, whatever you call them, bows. And she says, Happy Valentine's Day and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, love mom. <laughs> I love her. So that's what my mom made and she cuts all of her layers and then puts a photograph on there. I absolutely love when she does that. Okay, next up, we have this beautiful one from my good friend Rose Bell. Rose, thank you so much. She says, thank you for your kindness and your fun videos. I love getting cards from you, Rose. And check out those little googly eyes. Now this was a paper pumpkin kit. I believe in January. Super cute kit. Next up we have Sherry Simon. And look at this. You're utterly fantastic. I love the cows. Who doesn't love the cows? And it says, hope your day is filled with love and joy. Thank you for all the joy you bring to others. Be my Valentine. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, everybody's losing their mind over this photo. I know, right? It is gorgeous. Love it. And next, my mom loves to take pictures. She's like the queen of pictures. Next up, we have Lola Tanella. I know Lola's on here tonight. Look at this gorgeous card. This is the ornate dies. Absolutely beautiful. And this is that corner bouquet. This stamp set is free with a $50 order till February 28th. <laughs> And it says, thank you so much for the lovely gift I won playing bingo. I really enjoyed the evening and fun. You are so talented with all your projects. Uh, thanks for, uh, enjoy following you. So, you guys, thank you, Lola. This is beautiful. I love this. Um, I have bingo again in March. My bingo is going to be on March 24th. And it's a Wednesday night. And I do have the information on my blog in the online class section. When you go down the right column, there's online classes. You click on that and it'll take you to all my online classes that are available. I have not posted it to the public yet, but you're certainly welcome to sign up for it right away. Um, I haven't posted it to the public because I'm going to kind of wait about a week or so because it's too far away from March 24th. Like that's the way I feel. It's like too soon to do that. So. That's why I haven't like put it on my blog as a post, but it's coming and you can register for it now. It's fine. I just haven't thrown it out there. I don't want anybody going, oh my gosh, I didn't see that. It's because I didn't really put it out there. This is from Lisa De La Sandra. Look at how cute that is. It says, thanks for all you do. You lift many spirits. Um, thank you for her prizes. And um, Lisa won some prizes with our team meeting. So Lisa, you are very welcome. Look at how cute. I love the owls. Love, love, love them. Okay, next up is a box. You guys, you're gonna just be like, holy cow. So first of all, Terry Mullinex sent this. She's got an extra one of these and I'm assuming an extra pack of these. So I will be giving these away in the future as one of the prizes for like tonight. But um, I have to show you these cards. So first of all, Anna, this is your card. And this is from Terry. She's sending you a Get Well card. And look at how pretty this is. Sending healing hugs. Get well soon and hoping they help you with your pain. Prayers are with you. Yay. 
So that's for Anna. Terry, this was so sweet. I hope you're I hope you're okay with me. These weren't sealed, so I I'm I looked at all of them. <laughs> this is for Stephen Kelly, and this is a cute little Valentine card. Look how sweet this is. And she put a little note in here. It says, Hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day. Your waffles looked great. I made heart-shaped waffles, you guys. So yeah. Isn't this cool? Very, very cute, Terry. Thank you so much. And then, look at this. This is for Jared. It was Jared's birthday last Thursday. Look at the birthday card she sent him. Terry, you're so sweet. Wishing you the best birthday ever. Terry covered all the bases. All the bases. Okay. Um, oh, I see some people are asking me some questions. I am trying to place an order, but keep getting... Okay, so Pam... Um, you get free shipping with your kit, and I did email you back. But orders, you don't get free shipping. We all pay shipping. Everybody pays for shipping. So just so you know that. But I did send you an email back to answer that question. Now you guys have to show you this beauty. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. And now look at this card. This is so pretty. I'm just like flabbergasted at how gorgeous this is. Look how pretty that is. You shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. So, Terry wrote me a little note here. And she included, look at this. These are from my mom. Remember I said my mom messaged me and said she needed some get well and some sympathy and some, um, I think, adult or man birthday cards. I can't even remember. I got a whole box going to her. Look at all of these that Terry sent for my mom. Get well, get well, get well. Look at this. Here's a bunch of birthday cards. Like, oh my gosh, Terry, you are a rock star. Oh, these are so cool. Sympathy cards. Look at them. Holy cow. My mom is going to just be like, what? Yeah. So, Terry, you are going to make my mom so happy. Jared is stopping over tomorrow. Because he's going to take care of our cats while we're gone. So I will give him this. Where did Anna's card go? Um, oops, hang on. I don't want to smash my... Uh, this is for Anna. Yep. Okay. So I'll make sure Anna gets her card. Yeah. Terry. Oh, here's Jared's card. I'll put that over here for Jared, too, and make sure he gets that. All right, you guys. That's all for mail. Did I miss some um, questions? Kelly thought I'd distinguish bows from bows for you. Um, think of the nursery rhyme, rock a baby. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> okay. Um, just looking through here to see if I have any questions. So shipping should be no charge from now on. Nope, shipping, you always get paid. You always will pay for shipping. It's just on the discount shopper kit that you don't have any shipping. Okay. Do, do, do. All right, you guys, I don't think we have anything else here tonight. Watch for the challenge to come up on my Facebook page. It's also going to be on my blog as soon as I get photographs done and all this uploaded and whatever. If you're watching later on YouTube, please make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Share this video on Facebook right now and on YouTube later. That really helps me grow my business. And again, I always appreciate your orders. Thank you so much. Don't forget, celebration is over on the 28th. We have the beautiful butterfly bundle coming out on March 2nd. And we'll put that by Sunday. I just really don't want to see if we can get that accomplished before I have to leave for my vacation. Yeah, okay. All right, you guys, I've kept you long enough. Have yourselves a wonderful couple weeks. Do the challenge. I can't wait to see what you make. I share with you all the time. I want you to share with me now. <laughs> that was kind of demandy, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm just teasing. I hope you will participate. I love to see what you guys are making. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your Sunday night to spend with me. Have a good couple weeks. Bye-bye.